Hey everyone, it is Sillyman here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add some basic chat commands to your Roblox game. So when a player types a command in the chat, it will perform an action. So let's start with the command that will make the player invisible. So I'm going to add a script into server script service. Insert object and then click on script. So I'm going to say game.players.player added. So this will fire when a player joins the game. Connect function player and then I'm going to say player dot chatted so this will fire whenever a player uh, types something in the chat connect function then message so this will get the message that they put into the chat and then we're going to check what the message was so I'm going to say if message equals and then we need to make sure that the message was the command so typically commands start with a symbol, so I'm going to choose a semicolon, but you can choose whatever symbol you want. It's just that most games use a semicolon, so I'm going to just stick with that. And then the name of the command, so invisible. Then, and then we need to write code that will turn the player invisible. So I'm going to say local character equals player dot character. And then we need to make sure that the character actually exists, so I'm going to say if character then because if the player if the player's character has not actually loaded then it won't exist so we need to make sure that it actually exists and then we need to make the character invisible so to do that we're going to say for i v in pairs character get descendants this will get everything inside of the character do and then we need to turn everything invisible so i'm going to say if v is a base part then v dot transparency equals one. So we have to make sure that we're only turning invisible um, objects that are of a type base part, because if it's not of a type base part, it's not going to have this transparency variable. So, and that will cause an error. So we have to make sure that it is a base part. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Let's test it. So I'm going to type semicolon and then invisible in the chat. As you can see, we are now invisible. Well, except for our face, I'll actually go ahead and show you how to make that also invisible. So I'm going to do here, else if v is a decal, then v.transparency equals 1. And that should also make the face invisible. So let's type it in the chat again. Invisible. And there we go. We're now completely invisible. So now let's also do a command that will make the player visible again. So I'm going to come here and then do else if message and make sure it's aligned correctly with uh, this block here, the if and the else if, otherwise it will cause some errors most likely. And then we're going to do, we're going to check to see if the message is visible. So colon or semicolon and then visible is going to be the command. And then we need to make the player visible again. So I'm actually going to copy the code from here where we make the player invisible and then paste it. And then change the v.transparency to zero. And that will make the player visible again. So if I hit play. So let's start by doing the invisible command. I'm now invisible. And then let's do visible. This should make me visible again. And there we go. Okay, so it looks like there is a little uh, bug here where it's making a part that should be, should still be invisible, visible again. So to fix that, I'm going to come here uh, in the visible command where it says if v is a base part, and then we're going to do and v.name doesn't equal humanoid root part. And that should fix that issue. So if I hit play again, let's do invisible. I'm now invisible, and then visible. And there we go. We're now visible again. So that's going to be it for today's video. That's how to add some basic chat commands to your Roblox game. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and we'll see you all in the next video.